I believe those who may be able to avail themselves of this opportunity will both enrich themselves and enhance the value of the service they render. Folks don't come here to learn theory. They come here to do a better job. There's no other training organization that has the same kind of curriculum, the same kind of faculty members that can match the quality and the, the depth of experience of the graduate school. From less than 200 students to nearly 200,000 students served each year, today the Graduate School USA is a private, nonprofit, accredited educational institution meeting the needs of the federal and local governments as well as the local DC community. We grew from a need for intellectually challenging education for the federal workforce, and as the needs of the government and the nation changed, so did we. In 1921, we see the school first take shape. We started with 176 students and eight classes that met after hours in the Department of Agriculture building. Secretary of Agriculture, Henry Wallace, and Director of Scientific Work, Elmer Ball, spearheaded the creation of the USDA Graduate School based on the principle that the government can better serve the public by meeting the educational needs of federal employees. In the 1930s, the school expanded to include non-Department of Agriculture federal employees. Renowned instructors and lecturers joined the effort to provide quality professional development training to public service employees. Among them were Lewis Bean, a renowned statistician who forecasted the 1929 depression, Clarence Birdseye, who revolutionized the frozen food industry, or Day Tread, recognized the important role of educating women to enter the nation's workforce, Eleanor Roosevelt and W. Edwards Deming. Deming developed the theory of total quality management, which revolutionized the manufacturing process and is directly attributable to the successful rebuilding of Japan after World War II. Deming's principles are widely utilized in the service industry as well as government. Today, our W. Edwards Deming Award is given each year to a government organization that has measurably improved the organization's performance. Famous students have included over 70 members of Congress, Supreme Court Justice Byron Whizzer White, and the current Prime Minister of Australia, Julia Gillard. Training and education took on new importance and spiked during World War II. To help meet the urgent need for new skills in Washington, USDA Graduate School introduced a series of war training courses in everything from communications, food production, transportation, and of course preparing Rosie the Riveter and all women to learn new manufacturing and administrative skills to meet the personnel shortage in many federal agencies. After Congress passed the Government Employees Training Act in 1958, Federal agencies turned to us for customized, in-depth management training programs. Over the years, we've done customized training for every agency in the federal government. Recognizing the value of international training, Attorney General Robert Kennedy inspired us to develop public administration training programs for the newly independent nation of Congo, now the Democratic Republic of the Congo. This quickly expanded to dozens of countries. Today, the Graduate School USA's International Institute provides training to government and private organizations around the world. The Interagency Audit Training Program Committee was transferred to the USDA Graduate School from the Commerce Department in 1979 and enrollment took off. It is still serving the needs of federal, state and local government through the school's Government Audit Training Institute. In 1981, the school moved into its Capitol Gallery location at L'Enfant Plaza, expanding its presence in the Southwest DC community. In 1995, Dr. Philip Hudson, director of Graduate School USDA, made a bold move and, working with James Gilliland, president of the Graduate School's General Administration Board, spearheaded the transfer of the Office of Personnel Management Training Units in eight cities to the school. This strategy reaffirmed our strength and breadth in the federal sector and created the school's nationwide presence. Today, we offer courses on the ground in nearly 150 cities across the continental United States, coordinated by our eight regional locations. Our distance education programs also continue to grow as we provided rich online learning experiences for government professionals regardless of location. 
Today, participants can interact with instructors and collaborate anywhere from the convenience of their computer. The Graduate School USA offers a variety of methodologies in distance education in order to meet the individual needs of our students. Students can take self-paced courses via CD or paper-based, or they can take very high-end video streamed, audio streamed courses via GS Connect. In 2007, Graduate School USA received accreditation from the Commission of the Council on Occupational Education. Early in 2009, the Graduate School USDA moved out from under the USDA and became a private, not-for-profit educational institution with a focus on public service, career-oriented education. Almost simultaneously, the school expanded its footprint in D.C. by bringing the best of Southeastern University into the graduate school while respecting and upholding that institution's 130-year legacy of serving the residents of the District of Columbia. We're looking at the D.C. job market to make sure that our programs are responsive to local employer needs. Our programs prepare people for careers, um, not for jobs. What's available to DC residents is training programs. Again, get a job. Our intent is to get a career. Our new name, Graduate School USA and logo, were introduced in early 2011, representing our progressive outlook and rich heritage. We will continue to meet the needs of federal agencies and individuals, increasing our offerings in new learning modes and expanding our impact on the local community. We believe we are in a great position to assist not only the local government do a better job of what they do, but in enhance individuals' opportunity to move into government through training and education offered by the Graduate School. In the future, government is going to be taking on more and more responsibility and there will be a need and we believe we are well positioned to be that major provider for training and education within the federal government.